sounds like Michael Bublé saving baby seals. But it's coming out of our mouth more. Okay, so Kristen. Ah! Oh, ah! The guns are yeah. guns are dangerous. Play it with princesses instead. They're lovely. Look, uh, are you ready to film the vocal lesson? Yeah. Because we're doing that before practice. Cool. I'm gonna go cook, cook dinner because um, hungry drummer, not a happy drummer. Um, I'll be back. Back. Yeah, done, man. Before starting out singing, there are a couple of things that you should remember before you start your vocal warm-up. Before you start your vocal warm-up, you need to remember to keep the correct posture. So that means shoulders back, chest up, so your airflow is correct. Never slouch or else the, your voice will go down to the floor and no one can hear you. Also, if you choose to sing while sitting down, make sure that you sit up straight. You also need to get used to breathing from your diaphragm. These warm-ups are important to do because your voice is a physical instrument. You get it upon birth. Upon birth, I was born with five nostrils and my parents went into credit card debt for five years because all they were buying was Kleenex and extensive surgery. And singing's free. You don't even need a coupon. Singing, singing, it's free. Singing! Oh my god. You know what else is free? Murder. But not for long, because of Trump. Land of the free. Right now. Move to Canada. Free. free. The only thing you need is patience. Singing can be a very hard thing to master. In terms of vocal warm-ups, there are a lot of things that you can do. You should start with the ones that I'm about to show you to get your mouth and your voice warmed up. Hum! <laughs> This can help warm up your voice without straining it, which singing can sometimes do. Another way of warming up your voice is to go uh, It sounds damaging, but it isn't, and it helps relax your throat. It also makes you sound possessed. Uh, Lip rolls. Did you say fish rolls? Pretend like you're giving someone a raspberry and go your voice won't get tired and there won't be tension in your throat. Like there is between my boyfriend and I when he gets me the wrong flavor of ice cream when I'm sick. <coughs> I said chocolate cake caramel, but how do you get vanilla von num num out of that? Hey, did you say fish roll or dish oil? Because either way, I could use some for uh, dinner construction. I said lip roll! Why am I surrounded by idiots? What? So once you complete these warm-ups, you want to move on to some scale and enunciation work. So the Do, Re, Mi scale is a classic scale that you can to warm up your voice. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, do, ti, la, so, fa, mi, re, do. Enunciating in different ways can help you hit the note better and make it sound better when it comes out as well. When you do this, make sure you stretch your face to the syllable accordingly. There is a difference between the way you deliver a sound or word. So when you sing do, make sure that you have the o sound coming out, not just do, like that doesn't sound correct. So make sure you have the O and you go do. And then when you do words like re, really smile when you say it. Just really make sure you enunciate it. So you just go re. See the difference it makes? Here's another scale that you can do. My apple helps you pronunciate the words better when you sing. My apple, my apple. You can also do scales by humming and doing the lip rolls. warm-ups can help your throat and mouth in different ways. So now that we have worked on how to properly warm up your voice, next video I will show you how you can sing like you've been touched by an angel. But not like you've been touched by this angel. Get it? Because angel's like a vampire and stuff and he can like bite you and suck your blood and no one wants that. Uh, unless you're like into kinky stuff, but then, um, get it? No? It's a Buffy reference!